Okay, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. You can look me up under Miss Crafty. That's M S K R A F T E E. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, y'all, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. If you're a new subscriber, please hit the notification bell. Please like, share, and comment because I have some very, very, very important information for y'all. I have a very important treat for y'all. Um, and to you old subscribers, you already know what time it is. My name is Anthony Parker. If you don't know, now you know. And today, we will be talking about how the COVID has caused a lot of individuals to become self-employed. And today is no exception because I have a very important guest that maybe you all could definitely benefit from if you all do decide to listen, and I hope you all do. We're going to be talking about how this individual had uh, become or decided to become self-employed and is doing a pretty good job at it as well. There are a lot of individuals as well that, that, that are um, since the, the COVID-19 has uh, come up, come up uh, uh, of, of age or, or what have you, has forced a lot of people to become self-employed and doing their own thing. And I, I, I applaud a lot of people for that. So with that being said, I'm going to bring on Tawanda Sims. She is the founder and creator of Third Eye uh, Visions, or was it Third Eye Creations? Third Eye Creations. Third Eye Creations, and she's going to be talking about what Third Eye Creations is all about and why she decided to create her own line, her own uh, uh, business, and serve you all. So, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, tell the, the audience who you are and, um, you know, a little bit about yourself before we get into what you actually do. Um... They call me Miss Crafty. Um, I got into crafts, like creating like personalized items and um, wreaths. Um, what else do I make? Doormats. It's a bunch of just a lot of little things that is just personalized. Okay. And uh, is this something that you had really wanted to do or is it because of the fact that you had a little time on your hand due to the uh, pandemic and you say well let me start doing this well i always been into crafting so um what gave me the idea is it was a lady who's uh, who did parties and i'm like okay i can do this or and i had a friend that used to that was making masks and once she showed me everything and how it goes, I'm like, okay, I'll enjoy it. So it really was a hobby first. And with my hobby, I can make money. So I was like, okay, this can be yeah. like a little helpful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely is what it's all about, trying to make some money and be independent as well. I mean, especially these days. I mean, I understand that the, the COVID, you know, has, has forced a lot of people to become self-employed. But even before then, there are a lot of people who have entrepreneurial uh, ideas and, and dreams of what now they want to start, start their own business as well. So, I mean, as far as being an entrepreneur, is this something that you want to try to pursue or, you know, you just, you know, a little side thing? It's a side thing right now, but I hope it becomes big. Well, it will become, you know, okay. big to where, you know, I can just make a living off of just that. Okay. Well, we're going to jump right into uh, what you actually do. And uh, of, of course, you have been watching the channel, so you know that this is not only for sighted as well. Uh, they have blind people. So hopefully you will be very descriptive in what you do. So tell, I'm going to let you uh, tell the audience exactly what you do, what you're going to display, because you brought some things here. Uh, that you're going to show as well. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So we'll just uh, start off what you do, uh, you know, talk to the audience and let them know what you actually do. And then we're going to, at the end, we're going to get to how they can get in touch with y'all. If y'all want to purchase some of this uh, good stuff from Third Eye Creations 1. Go ahead. Okay. Um, 
I create tumblers and with the tumblers, I have 20 ounce tumblers and I have 30 ounce tumblers. With the tumblers, I'm doing sublimation. So therefore, whatever you want on it, if it's a picture, if it's um, a logo or um, your favorite team or you're a part of a um, fraternity or a group, like I can put that on a tumbler. You know, you pick the size um, tumbler you, you would like. Um, I have 20 ounce tumblers there, $20. And the 30 ounce tumblers are $30. I also do keychains um whatever you want on them again whatever you pick i can put it on it earrings um i make pillows and with the pillows i have their sequence like you rub your hand across it and say if it's gold sequence it's always going to be gold but when you take your hand across it whatever i put if you want your picture like i made one that says Always and forever, Mr. and Mrs. And the couple had their picture on it. They have it on their bed. It was a gift. And so their picture. So you, when you rub your hand across it, it's all gold, whatever color sequence it is. And if you rub your hand back across, you can see the picture and the word. Uh, I made coffee mugs, um, whatever you want. Again, um, some of the ones I do have on hand is like, I like putting like silhouettes and with the silhouettes, I, you have like the eyes and the hair. So with the hair or the earrings that's on that silhouette, I cover it with rhinestones and uh, you can feel them and stuff. And I'll put your name or sometimes if I just selling and it's not just personalized, I put like coffee, you know, something little saying on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I make these. Right now, I'm working on, I'm going to show you. I'm working on a wreath made out of mesh. Okay. And um, it's gold, which represents the yellow leaves. And I have green up under there. And I'm going to put the brown in the middle because I'm still working on it. Uh, so I can make wreaths. I can make your favorite team, whatever color. Um, I also do the wooden ones. Um, I like sunflowers, so I'm going to work on a sunflower wreath. Mm -hmm. I love sunflowers. Um, let's see. I do keychains with the coin purse, and I have one on my keys. So I like LSU. So I have the LSU um, coin purse I made, and it's gold and black, gold and purple with the LSU written across in white. And I keep I, it's it's convenient because I can connect it to my keys, and I have like all my little cards and my little money. And I don't have to carry a purse. You know, it's convenient. I could just right. grab and go. And I can right. use and I have my form. I also do masks. Um, whatever you want on them again. And that should be popular um, right now. That, huh? The mask should be kind of the mask are probably popular right now because of the, the pandemic, am I correct? Right. Um well I had to make some memorial masks. Mm -hmm. yesterday I had to have some made so with that um they wanted purple I have one and they have a loved one um name you know in memory of a beautiful life and they have a loved one name and on the other side you know I put um their picture mm -hmm. so cute little mask you know um I also do t-shirts I also create the third eye vision t-shirt right. um, okay, so yeah. the t-shirts <laughs> I'll have on mine today. Um, so with the t-shirts, I also can make, put whatever you want on it. Um, your picture, um, your favorite team, again, uh, whatever you want. You know, if you have a business and you want to wear your logo and create a shirt that you want to, you know, if you're pitching your idea or whatever, you're doing a pop-up shop or something, you know, you can wear it. Okay. Uh, I do business cards. Well, they're not cards, they're metal cards. So, you know, people just not won't toss them or tear them out. They're just, right. you know, go away. It's actually metal to where they're kind of keep it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, oh. So, you, you basically do a, you do a, you do a, you do a, you do a variety of things, definitely. Uh, exactly. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, um, yeah, I wanted to bring you on so that I can show the fact that, you know, people are getting off, off into other areas as, as opposed to just working for others. You can work for your, you know, for your um, for yourself, become self-employed and hopefully become uh, an entrepreneur, which I applaud you for uh, definitely doing. Uh, I know your time is limited. When I tell the audience where you could be found, how they can get in touch with you and your name and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. You can look me up under Miss Crafty. That's M S K R A F T E E. Okay. That's and what about Facebook? It's both. It's both. It's both. Okay. Facebook and Instagram. Same and, the, and, the, and give them the name of your business again Third Eye Creation. Okay, so they would, so when, when someone wants to look up your name on Facebook, they just put in Third Eye Creations, or do you have to put anything else? You can uh, either put in Third Eye Creations, or you can put in Miss Crafty the way I spell it. Okay, cool. Either. Well, look, I want to thank you for coming on Third Eye Vision. See, <laughs> see the connection for showing us uh, what you do and whatnot. And, and again, uh, it's good to be, you know, you can make your own hours. It's good to be self-employed and, and, and don't have to worry about, you know, trying to clock in. You can do your own thing. I think this is going to take off, um, you know, because uh, I've heard a lot of people speak on your work and, you you know, they, they definitely uh, like it. So uh, as we conclude, is there anything that you want to say in reference to any, any, any individual that's thinking of uh, pursuing their own business and trying to get out there? Because I know it's a lot of competition. What would you like to say? Um, do it. You know, you don't know if it'll work till you try it and, and be persistent and don't give up. You know, it'll work. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Crafty, for coming on Third Eye Visions. And y'all go support it. Support, support, support. Black owned, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I want to say continue to support Third Eye Visions again, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. Thank you, Miss Crafty, for coming on the show. And please support. Thank you. All right.